Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome back. Here's my top tip, tip for this week. And it's the UJ, the universal joint or the deck plate. Now this is a classic mistake from uh, you guys back at home that haven't windsurfed for, I don't know, four to six months. You've left your equipment in the garage all winter long and then you go out and give it a go for a sale. And I guarantee the first thing that's probably gonna break is your UJ. Okay, these things are quite expensive, but well worth their weight in gold because this is what keeps your sail connected to your board. And these little bits of rope here are your safety leash. So always check your UJs. Now, if there's any cracks in it like that, get rid of it. Okay, done. Now, where do we put our UJ? Okay, we start with, of course, the mast tracks, always pretty handy. Don't put it back in your fin box. Okay, and always start, I'd say in the middle. That's when a designer designs the board for the deck plate to go in the middle. Now, when would I move my deck plate? If I was out there and I couldn't control, if I was overpowered and the nose is all over the place, I'd bring my deck plate by one centimetre or a finger's worth forward. Okay, and that will just allow my body weight and the rig's weight to come forward and help keep the nose down. Now, in perfect conditions in the middle. Now, if I find the board a little bit sticky and it's not really getting up and going, what I'd do is then move it back a centimetre and go from there. Now, just lift up the nose and hopefully get you going a bit better. Now, in a couple of weeks' time, when I go to Maui, I'm going to be asking some of the top pros out there what they do for big waves, small waves, and also the slalom sailors, what they do to keep the board down and see if it's the same theory. So keep posted, and we'll see you soon. Woo!